In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure access rules for the BuddyBoss app. Access rules allow you to restrict which members are able to log into your app and to restrict access to specific content in the app. In this example, we are restricting access to blog posts. When content is restricted in the app, you can specify a message to show to your members, prompting them to complete an action. For example, you can ask your members to buy access to a product or to upgrade their membership level. You can also send members to the main product screen or to an app page that tells them how to gain access. We'll go over these options and more throughout the rest of the tutorial. And with that, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app, Access Controls. From here, we can configure our access rules. There are a lot of options, so first, I will take you through an overview of what is possible, and then we'll start configuring some examples. There are multiple types of content that can be protected. The first is just general access. This is for restricting who can log into the app. All members can log in, but if they don't have the proper access, they will see a message telling them to upgrade or take some other action. You also have the ability to restrict specific app pages, to restrict WordPress pages, to restrict blog posts, and if you have LearnDash enabled, you can also restrict access to courses. For these access rules to be applied, you first need to create some access groups, which you can do from here. Access groups allow you to group members based on a specific criteria, so we can then set up access rules for the members of those groups. We have another tutorial showing you how to configure access groups, so please watch that video as well. Let's go back, and then you can also click here to view settings. And this takes us into BuddyBoss app, settings, access controls. And from here, you can configure the default restricted message, including the title and content for the message, and the button action for when a user tries to view content that they do not yet have access to. You can also override these settings for specific access rules, and I'll demo this in more detail later in this tutorial. So now, let's go ahead and configure our general settings, and then we'll configure some access rules for specific content types. We are back at BuddyBoss app, access controls, general. The first thing to notice is that we have this ability here to enable private app. Private app is really important in the access controls feature because if private app is disabled, you will have the ability to restrict certain content to logged in members only. But if private app is enabled, then all content is restricted to logged in members anyways. So some of those options will disappear. And then we can see this option for restrict access. When enabled, only members who are in specific access groups will be able to view your app's content after logging in. Let's go ahead and enable it. And now we can choose which access groups to require. Let's select an access group from this dropdown. Let's select this member press gold group and let's add another. I'll select member press silver and then let's also add member press bronze. And now, only members who are in all of these access groups can log into the app. Let's switch to any of the access groups. And now a member just has to be in one of these access groups to log in. In other words, as long as the member is paying for one of my membership levels, I will allow them to log into the app. And then we have the setting for what to do when access is restricted. When the user tries to log in, if they do not have access, they can either be sent back to the login screen or you can show the product screen. This is useful if you're selling multiple products that all would grant the access needed. Or you can show an app page. You would want to create an app page that explains why the user does not have access and add some instructions for how they can gain access. Let's use show product screen and I'll click save changes and now let's go see how this looks in the app. 
Here we are in the Buddy Boss app, currently logged out. The user I'm about to log in with does not belong to any of the access groups that we added earlier. So when I try to log in, I should be taken to the product screen. And sure enough, we are immediately taken to the product screen. And from here, I would need to purchase access to one of these memberships to gain access. If I tap this gold membership product, from here I could purchase it to gain access. Of course, for this to work properly, you will want to make sure that your access group was configured correctly so that it is connected to this gold membership. And you'll want to make sure that this in-app product was configured correctly so that it enrolls the users into this membership on purchase, which will then add the user into the access group, thereby unlocking the access to login. As you can start to see, these access controls really unlock a lot of power and potential for in-app purchases. And they unlock even more capabilities once you start configuring access rules for specific content types after logging into the app, as I'm about to show you. So now, let's go back into the WordPress admin and we'll configure access rules for specific app content. There are a lot of options for these various content types. So I'll just focus on blog post for the remainder of this tutorial. Once you understand one content type, it will be easy to figure out how to configure the others. Within posts, you can see we have three tabs. In this first tab, we can add rules to restrict access to specific blog posts. In the second tab, we can create rules to restrict access to posts from a specific category, tag, or custom taxonomy. If I select this accounting category, I could click Add Rule to configure which members are allowed to view posts from the accounting category. And then if I go to default settings, I could click to restrict access to all posts. And from here, I could simply require members to be logged in to view posts, or I could restrict access to members in a specific access group. And then from here, I could pick the options. But for now, we'll just restrict access to a single blog post. And then we'll configure all of the various options for that post and see how they look in the app. After that, you will understand how those options can be applied within the other settings. So let's click to go back to our first tab and we'll protect this first post. Tackle your closet spring cleaning. From here, I'll click add rule. And again, I can restrict this specific post to all logged in members or to members in specific access groups. Let's restrict it by access group. And just like the general settings, I can add some access groups and I can require the members to be in all or any of them. For this example, let's use member press gold. By doing this, only members who have purchased a gold membership will be allowed to view this blog post. And for the restricted message, I can use the default option or I can add something custom. Let's click this link to see what the default options currently are. These options control what the users will see when they view any content that is restricted. They will be taken to a screen that says access denied with text below that saying you do not have permission to access this content. At the moment, we have no default action button configured, meaning the user will not be asked to take any type of action to gain access. They will simply be informed that they do not have access. And then this last option allows us to enable a teaser of the content behind the message. Instead of just showing the message on a blank screen, instead you can display a bit of the content beneath the gradient. So the user is more tempted to try to gain access. And I'll show you how all of these options look in the app in a moment. But first, let's go back to our blog post rule to finish saving it. Under restricted message, if we leave this setting as default, then it will use all of the options from these settings. If we set it to custom, you can see we have the exact same options available to override the title, content, button action, and teaser, just for this blog post. Let's set it to default, and I'll click save. And you can see, a rule has been added. This blog post now requires that the user has access to member press code to view it. 
Let's go back to our default settings and let's change the default button action. The button can be used to open a nap page, to open the product screen, or to open a specific in-app product. Let's set it to open a nap page. And then we can select from our app pages. And I'll select this page I created before called how to get access. You would want to create your own app page that will explain to your users why they are restricted from seeing the content and perhaps instructions for how to gain access. You can even add a deep link into the page to a specific in-app product if you'd like. And for the button text, for now we'll leave it as learn more. Let's click save changes. And now let's go see how that looks in our app. Here we are in the Buddy Boss app, and this time we are logged in and viewing the blog screen. Let's try to view this blog post that we just protected. And we are taken to the screen where we can see the default title and content that we added before. And then we have our button that says learn more. Let's tap the button. And we are brought into the app page explaining how to get access. So now let's go back into the WordPress admin and we'll change the default button action. Let's change the default button action to open the product screen. And let's also change the button text to say buy access. Since now we will be encouraging people to buy a product from the product screen. I'll click save changes. And let's go see how that looks in our app. Let's tap to view the blog post again. And we can see our updated button text saying, buy access. Let's tap the button. And now we're on the product screen. And from here, we could select a product to purchase. Now let's go back into WordPress and we'll change the default button action one more time. Let's change the default button action to open a specific in-app product. And then we get this drop down where we can pick a product. I'll select gold membership, and this time, let's also enable showing teaser content behind the message. Let's click save changes, and let's go see how that looks in our app. Let's tap to view the blog post again, and this time, we can see this nice teaser showing some of the blog content behind a gradient with the text and the button on top. This gives the user a sneak peek into what they are missing out on making them to more likely to want to gain access. Let's tap the button to buy access. And this time, we're taken directly into the gold membership product. As you can see, these access rules are very powerful and they really take the power of in-app purchases into the next level, allowing you to protect your content and to upsell users to purchase additional access. We're so excited to finally put this power into your hands.